MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most Mustang of all, Medic. love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. All right, so uh, the 71, I'm doing a little cosmetic stuff. We're basically putting all the pieces together, and then we're going to dismantle her primer and all that. So I basically want to see how everything fits together and just have all of those issues handled before we go to paint. So. I want to put all the pieces on, then I'm going to dismantle her, which we can do very quickly, and then get her primered. I guess we're going to do a dark gray or a black, and then we're going to um, paint her red. So I'm no longer going to go with the white primer. So here's the pieces that I'm working on now. All right, so we bought this a while ago. Uh, it's a little dirty, but it's brand new, and that is the gas cap. These are the rails, which I want to clean up, and I want to detail them with a small black stripe on them. We're going to get the, in there and polish them all out. And then inside here, I started doing cleaning on the honeycomb, dark room. Um, the honeycomb, I started scrubbing out and cleaning up this plastic. This is an original part, this is not aftermarket. And it's great to have them intact for the 71. This was a, a donation, I believe, from Jeremy in Texas. And he actually sent over, and if I'm wrong, if it's not Jeremy, it's another viewer, please correct me. But I believe, I, it's been about six or seven months, and I, if I recall correctly, Jeremy sent me over these intact um, honeycombs for the 71 project. Thank you, Jeremy. Jeremy Thomas out there in Texas. He's uh, working diligently on his uh, 71. And uh, if I'm not, I hope it's a 71, Jeremy. It's a fastback, 71 to 73. And... Uh, he donated them to this project. I am very grateful. So don't tell Carlos I used his fingernail scrubber and the sink to clean this up. And it came out quite well. All right, here we go. All right, so we're celebrating. The back, back lights are working. Yay! I'm going to get Nick to come out and press on so you guys can see him. But check. Brake lights, good. Of course, the reverse lights aren't working. That's going to be something else we're going to get to figure out in the near future. Yay! But that means I can drive her on the road. So, uh... I think I'm going to put her down and get the turnouts put in and then get the front end alignment done. <laughs> Can't help myself, guys. Okay, this is a 71 video, but I want to show you new, new tools that we got and also something we got for free over at the show yesterday. Whenever we get stuff, we want to share it with you so you guys can uh, learn with us. All right, so this is actually a pressure cooling system pressure tester. Um, this is a way of testing um, uh, water pumps and radiators and lines while the car is not running. So this set us back a bit. We uh, purchased it over at Mustang Country, but now we'll be able to pressurize it through the, uh, the radiator cap, watch the pressure as we pump it up, and here's an adapter for different um, radiators connections. So we now can offer the services of doing a pressure testing on the car before we even start it and let her create her own pressure. So that's all good news. This Irwin set is an extractor set. I got it over at Napa. And this set um, is 5 eighths to 3 eighths. These work really well when you've got a bolt or a nut that is totally butchered and you can't get to it. You basically pound it into the, with a hammer. Let me get back a little bit so I can get in focus. You pound it with a hammer around the, the butchered up nut or bolt. And then you can extract it with a, an air tool. An air hammer works really well with these things. We've used this a number of times on the torque converters. We've gotten a lot of torque converters with butchered up bolts and you can't get it off of the flex plate. So we're going to order a larger set. It's a truck um, company that um, gives parts to trucks and it's going to be larger than 5 8 It's going to go all the way up to like 13 16 or something and that will allow us to take off lock lugs off of cars with our air tools and that will no longer be concerned if the key doesn't exist. How do we get the rims off? We'll have these. It's uh, going to set us back about 100 bucks. And this right here, we got on eBay, and um, the username is right below, because I can't remember, I'll, I'll put it in editing. This is a vacuum tester, and basically we're going to hook it up to the air intake on Jeff's 69, and we're going to use this to check vacuum 
and determine um, the timing. Uh, oftentimes with older Mustangs with uh, timing chains that might be loose and not tight, the timing light doesn't always work well with setting timing. So we're going to use this uh, vacuum gauge right here connected to a vacuum port on top of a number of Mustangs um, on their intake and do timing this way. So we're going to be diving into that little adventure shortly. So also we got mothers, uh, we got the mothers protectant. Uh, this is give being given out free at the show at the um, uh, Mustangs of the Queen Mary show. And we're going to just use this to clean up dashes a little bit, just to moisturize them, make them look pretty. So that's a little free item right there, which is nice. This set us back about 30 bucks. Um, this set us back about 65 bucks at Napa. And this was, uh, I'm not clear on the price. It's over $100 for this piece of uh, uh, retail. I'm not totally clear what we ended up paying for that. But it's going to be a very useful tool at Mustang Medic. All right. So I'm going to... I'm going to put her down. i got to wait two days for those extractors to come. So I'm probably going to call up uh, and maybe get the, um, the turnouts right here put on the car. I'm getting a lot of input from people that want to uh, hear these things on this 429, and I do too. So we're going to get those in. MustangMedic. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. Mustangmedic.com